This is a very famous painting called The Kiss. It is by an artist named Gustav Klimt. Look at all the fabulous detail. Not only is he skilled at painting the skin and faces and bodies of people, but he does intricate detail and he loved to use gold. What shapes do you see? Where are certain patterns in this painting? Here's another one. Klimt was known for his golden period where he used gold of all sorts in his paintings. He also used a lot of shapes and symbols. So those things that look like eyes actually mean something. The different areas of pattern hold different meaning for the artist. And when you look up close, you can see that there's even some texture called impasto where he built up the paint and was able to add some texture. We'll be working on something like that too. I see triangles, zigzag lines, rectangles, and more. This is another one of his famous features called the tree of life. It's not like a real tree. He used spirals to show the growing changes of life. And this is one of his artworks that has a baby under a big, beautiful, detailed quilt. This has inspired lots of people to create their own beautiful detailed artwork and we'll be doing that today. Many people think that Klimt was inspired by the tile mosaics of older times during the Byzantine period. They would use gold and create halos around the figures to show that they were powerful or important people. Look at all the beautiful patterns and detail in this art. And then, of course, Klimt still inspires people today. These are some characters from a animation called Mia and Me who were direct descendants of paintings by Klimt. Look at Klimt's painting on the left and the character on the right-hand side. And here's an evil character from the same animation. Look at how that character was inspired by two of Klimt's paintings. And here is that evil character's henchman. So there are several details to be inspired by in Klimt's artwork. And we're going to create our own collage by using a photograph that you take, cutting it out and placing it onto black paper. You're going to carve out big shapes. And then we're even going to use some glue to create some of that impasto looking texture. And then you'll fill your areas with gold and colors, patterns, shapes that have some meaning for you, and make our portrait of ourselves as if we were painted by the famous Gustav Klimt. While you prepare for your artwork, you can look at his motifs. He used all of these kinds of shapes and more. So we'll have some Gustav Klimt artwork and these sheets to help you practice some ideas for your art.